today I bring you something different and it's these beautiful holiday centerpieces. If you would like to recreate these pieces to decorate your home, I will leave the materials in the description box down below. If I cannot find the same materials I have, I will leave very similar ones. These pieces are beautiful and affordable. And I hope my video will be helpful to you. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and now let's get to the video. Hey guys, and here we are with our first centerpiece. For this one, I am going to be using this silver metal and mirror tray. This one also has some little stones. I am also going to be using this beautiful reindeer statue in color gold. And this reindeer is standing on a piece of wood. And I'm going to place the reindeer inside the tray. I am also going to be using some floral foam to fill the spaces between the tray and the base of the reindeer. Remember that you don't need to have the exact ornaments I am using. You could use a very inexpensive plate from a local shop or anything that you have at home. The idea is that you can make this centerpiece with any items. As you can see, I filled the empty spaces with the floral foam and now I'm going to proceed to fill the foam with natural pine. We want to start working from the borders and the corners, especially with the biggest stems. And what you want to do is to position these stems on a way that is like kind of falling down. It's, you have to make it look like if this this pine is growing from the foam and that way you will make it look more natural. If it's not easy for you to get the natural pine, you can also use the artificial ones that they sell. It's not so expensive. Or perhaps you can use some ornaments, Christmas ornaments or flowers to fill the foam and to hide it. As you can see, my centerpiece is already looking great because I put a lot of the pine filling the foam with it. And the way I work is I put the biggest stems on the outside and then for the inside I create or I cut smaller pieces. As you can see, the centerpiece is already filled with all the pine I need. And now I'm going to start with the fun part, which is decorating. I will suggest that you start laying out all the decorations uh, where you want to place them and to see how it looks before you start gluing or clipping and then it will be too late to change these decorations. As you can see, I am using three Christmas flowers. One is gold and the other ones are white with gold. Then I am also going to use some pine cones. These ones come on a branch, but I am going to separate them and put them loose. And my first centerpiece is now done. I am really very happy with the results. It looks fantastic and it looks so expensive as well. I added these small lights that comes on a rope. I did it off camera because my battery finished so I could not film that part for you guys. But if you want to add lights, you can just add some batteries and wrap those lights around the centerpiece and that will make it pop because when it's in the evening you can put that those lights on and that will be beautiful it makes it really very chic and nice i hope you like my first centerpiece now let's get to the second one A 
And starting with my second centerpiece, I'm going to be using this round glass bowl. I really love the shape of this bowl and the glass is very thick. Inside the bowl, I'm going to be using this artificial fake snowflakes that I bought for one euro on my local store. I put enough flakes to cover the bottom and I disperse them around the bowl with my hand. I am adding a little bit more of these flakes because I want it to look really snowy and white. I have this piece of rope with two knots at the ends and I'm going to add this rope to the top of the glass bowl. Now I'm going to start decorating the inside of this glass bowl. The first thing I want is light. So I have this battery operated uh, small extension that I am going to put on the inside of the bowl. And of course I have my little snowman. I have this snowman for a long time and it is made of ceramic. So it is very special. Now I am going to start adding the ornaments on the inside of the bowl. I have these little figures and other ornaments, including a piece of tree, of pine tree. You have to make it like if it's a small city, a small town with the snow and the snowman on a corner, make a little village. And as you can see here is the end result of my second centerpiece. This looks very, very nice and it's very easy to do and affordable as well. You don't have to spend a fortune to do this. And it is a very nice different idea for your holiday centerpieces. Without having to spend so much time and effort, you can have a very nice centerpiece for your home. Now let's get to the third centerpiece. Starting with my third centerpiece, I am going to use this plastic tray. The tray is just to hold the centerpiece in place. And I am going to put the floral foam on the tray and then tape it to keep it secure on place. Now I am going to start adding the pine branches to the floral foam. But I want to make sure that I leave a space in the middle on top to be able to put my decorations. We shall stay till the end of this video because at the end I'm showing you another centerpiece I did with artificial decorations, meaning not natural pine. So that way you have another option to do your centerpieces at home. I want this centerpiece to be a little bit wider and bigger. That's why I'm leaving the branches a little bit bigger than my other centerpieces. And maybe you notice that with this centerpiece, I am working a little bit different. So the big branches are at the bottom and they are straight to the side, not down. That is because the branches are bigger, I want them to have a natural fall, not that I on purpose position them falling down. But again, bigger branches at the bottom and then working myself up with the smaller branches until I get to the center. Remember that we want to leave the center of this foam empty so that we can put the decorations and the reindeer on top of it. Once you have the decoration on, then you can hide any little bit of foam that will be seen, but I don't think you will see anything. And now I am going to start decorating by adding this beautiful glitter reindeer, and I am also going to add some flowers. 
I am going to use my glue gun to glue the flowers. But the reindeer, I don't want to damage it, so I'm not going to use the glue, I'm just going to push it into the foam. I am also going to add some ornaments to the other side of the flowers, so to make it balanced and to make it beautiful. This is a beautiful centerpiece. I'm also going to add some more gold with these little branches, these leaves branches, and I'm going to break them apart and put them all around the centerpiece. And here is the end of my final centerpiece. This piece is really delicate. Of course, you can add more decorations if you want. You can use ribbon, you can use more glitter, more flowers or more lights. I am only going to use one little candle because I think I have too many lights in my living room already. So with this candle, I'm going to put it just beside the reindeer and that will give it a little pop. Please let me know which one of the centerpieces was your favorite. I really love them all, but for me, the first one, the big reindeer, that is my favorite. I hope this video helped you to decorate your house. And if you like these centerpieces, please give me a thumbs up. That will help me so much with my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so and let me know if you did any of my centerpieces. I hope to see you on the next one.